Hey everyone, it's John P.O. and this is Mamecade episode number 11, featuring a smackdown between two garden variety pests, an insect and a rodent. It's Universal's Ladybug vs. Exidy's Mousetrap. But before we get to these two titans, let's talk about a little game called Pac-Man that exploded into arcades a year earlier in 1980. Up until this time, arcades were dominated by the likes of Space Invaders, Galaxian, and Asteroids. Lots of shooting and alien blasting games. Then Namco's Pac-Man arrived, like a little yellow angel from Japan. It had no fire buttons, no alien swarms to blast, just a simple game of eat or be eaten. It was a breath of fresh air and blew up the 80s. Suddenly, every game manufactured scrambled to make a Pac-Man-esque game. Even Namco itself wrote on its own dominance by releasing Ms. Pac-Man. Most were blatant knockoffs, though two games stood out by taking the Pac-Man formula and adding some new innovations. Ladybug and Mousetrap went head-to-head -head in 1981 with each other as well as their pellet-eating father. Let's take a look at what made these two cream of the crop. I give you Universal's Ladybug and Exidy's Mousetrap. This is the setup for Ladybug's first level. You'll notice on the top of the words special and extra. Throughout the game you'll have to eat the individual letters of those words to get the bonus when they're finally spelled out. Years later, this system would be reused in one of Universal's best-known series, all three Mr. Do games. Now here's the actual gameplay for Ladybug. This is the first screen, and as you can see, we're going to go around chomping on these little dots, and you'll see some letters spread across the board, and you want to get the the proper letters to spell special and extra. You'll also notice that special is red on top, extra is yellow. So if you fail to get the letters when they're that color, uh, it doesn't count. Like there is a yellow X. So I had the X lit up up there. And you have to do that. And you notice those green doors that I go through, they rotate and you can use those effectively to block the, the, uh, the, the evil bugs that are after you. You can also try to lure those bugs into the skulls, and that'll kill them. But there is nothing... There you are. There is nothing that you can eat to then kill the bugs. It's not like Pac-Man in that way. So, uh, you just go around gathering the letters, eating up these little dots, trying to avoid these bugs. Now, a new bug comes after you every time... If you look at the perimeter of the screen, every time that... Uh, perimeter turns green in a rotation a new bug will come out and that's just the gist of ladybug um, let's take a look now at mousetrap and see the differences now mousetrap isn't as colorful with its palette of only eight colors versus ladybugs 32 it also uses doors that you can open and shut to block the enemy in this case cats but instead of revolving doors that you just have to push now you have a red, blue, and yellow door button that you can push at any time to activate that particular color door. This can allow you to spring traps on the cats, locking them in little corridors, and it makes the mechanics of the door usage different between the two games. Now this is the actual gameplay. You'll notice in the center there is a box that says in. If you go in the center, it'll teleport you to one of the four corners randomly. And you can eat these little red bones and store them and hit the dog button and turn into a dog which will let you chase the cats very similar to Pac-Man. It doesn't last very long but you can store them and use them when you need them rather than eating a pellet and having to chase them immediately. Uh, that's Mousetrap. Now which of these two is better? Now, it's hard to say. They each have their own merits to stand on. Ladybug is a very simple game to just pick up and play. Even if you never try to spell the words special or extra, it's still a fun, addictive game. Mousetrap takes a little more hand-eye coordination with its dog and three door buttons to deal with, as well as a pesky hawk that can kill you as a mouse or as a dog. Now, both games were even ported to the ColecoVision system and Mattel's Intellivision. Mousetrap was even ported to the Atari 2600, though the door system was dumbed down it actually made the game easier to play. 
Both are excellent games, and I tend to lean towards Ladybug myself, but I recommend that you try them both out for yourself. And I want to say thanks for watching, and please subscribe to Mamecade if you haven't already. Till next time.